Ancient Indian texts claim the existence of nuclear bombs and flying machines thousands of years ago. What if Oppenheimer wasn't the first to create a nuclear weapon? Let's explore this mind-blowing intersection of ancient wisdom and modern science to uncover secrets that could change history forever. The Manhattan Project and Oppenheimer. The Manhattan Project was a monumental effort during World War II aimed at developing the first nuclear bomb. Spearheaded by the United States, it brought together the era's brightest minds in science and engineering. At its heart was J. Robert Oppenheimer, a theoretical physicist who became the project's scientific director. Oppenheimer faced initial doubts due to his political views and lack of leadership experience, but he proved essential to the project's success. As the leader of the Los Alamos Laboratory in New Mexico, he transformed it into the center of groundbreaking research. His ability to coordinate efforts among brilliant scientists like Enrico Fermi and Ernest Lawrence was crucial. Oppenheimer's dedication shone through as he worked long hours, driven by the urgency of wartime. One of Oppenheimer's most well-known moments came after the successful test of the first atomic bomb on July 16, 1945, in the New Mexico desert. Reflecting on the power and potential destruction of the weapon, he famously quoted the Bhagavad Gita, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. This quote has since become synonymous with the Manhattan Project and the dawn of the nuclear age. In a later interview, Oppenheimer suggested that the United States was not the first to create a nuclear bomb, hinting at parallel efforts by other nations, such as the Soviet Union. This statement underscored his awareness of the global race for nuclear technology and the far-reaching implications of his work. Oppenheimer's involvement in the Manhattan Project cemented his place in history, marking the beginning of a new and dangerous era in warfare, ancient Indian texts and technology. Ancient Indian texts, such as the Mahabharata and Ramayana, are known for their epic tales of heroism and morality. These texts also contain fascinating references to advanced technology and scientific knowledge, hinting at the sophistication of ancient Indian civilization. The Mahabharata, one of the longest epic poems, is filled with detailed descriptions of various sciences. It mentions complex astronomical calculations, advanced medical procedures, and intricate metallurgical techniques. For instance, powerful weapons like the Brahmastra, which could cause immense destruction, drawing comparisons to modern nuclear bombs. These accounts suggest a deep understanding of physics and weaponry. Similarly, the Ramayana includes intriguing mentions of advanced technology. One notable example is the Pushpaka Vimana, a flying chariot used by the demon king Ravana. This Vimana was capable of high speeds and long distances, reminiscent of modern aircraft. The text also discusses various celestial weapons and sophisticated machinery, indicating an advanced level of engineering and technological knowledge. These ancient texts offer a glimpse into the rich intellectual and technological heritage of ancient India. While some descriptions may be symbolic or exaggerated, they still reflect a high level of scientific and technological awareness, making them a subject of ongoing fascination and study. The Mahabharata and Nuclear Weapons The Mahabharata contains some intriguing descriptions of powerful weapons that seem to echo modern nuclear technology. One of the most notable examples is the Brahmastra, a weapon described as capable of causing massive destruction. According to the text, when the Brahmastra is unleashed, it creates a fierce fireball, blazing with terrible flames and countless thunder flashes. The weapon's impact is so devastating that nature itself trembles, with trees, oceans, and animals all feeling its power. Additionally, the Mahabharata mentions even more potent weapons, like the Brahmashira Astra. This weapon is described as being four times stronger than the Brahmastra, and capable of erasing someone's existence across time. The text recounts how the use of such weapons led to the deaths of 1.5 billion people within just 18 days. This scale of destruction is difficult to imagine outside the context of modern nuclear warfare. 
These vivid descriptions have led some scholars to speculate that the Mahabharata might be referencing ancient nuclear explosions or advanced weaponry. While these interpretations remain speculative, they highlight the text's dramatic depiction of catastrophic events. The descriptions of these powerful weapons in the Mahabharata serve as a reminder of the destructive potential of technology. Whether these accounts are literal or symbolic, they reflect a deep understanding of the devastating power such weapons could wield, inviting us to ponder the ethical and philosophical implications of using such technology, both in ancient times and today. The Ramayana and Advanced Warfare The Ramayana, another epic Indian text, is filled with references to advanced technology and sophisticated weapons. One of the most fascinating aspects is the mention of Vimanas, or flying machines. The Pushpaka Vimana, used by the demon king Ravana, is described as a magnificent aerial vehicle with incredible speed and maneuverability, capable of traversing great distances. This depiction is reminiscent of modern aircraft, raising questions about the technological knowledge of ancient India. The Ramayana also describes various powerful weapons known as divine astras. In addition to Vimanas and divine astras, the Ramayana hints at other technological marvels. There are references to advanced medical treatments, including the use of medicinal herbs and surgical techniques. The epic even describes the construction of elaborate fortresses and cities, showcasing advanced engineering skills. These descriptions in the Ramayana suggest a civilization with a deep understanding of technology and science. While some elements may be symbolic or mythological, they continue to captivate researchers and historians. The parallels between the Ramayana's accounts and modern technology highlight the enduring fascination with ancient India's potential scientific achievements. Scientific and Historical Perspectives Modern historians and scientists approach ancient texts like the Mahabharata and the Ramayana with a blend of fascination and skepticism. These texts, filled with descriptions of advanced technology and powerful weapons, are often seen as rich sources of cultural and historical insight. However, interpreting these descriptions literally remains controversial. Many scholars believe that the technological references in these epics are metaphorical, using imaginative storytelling to convey moral and philosophical lessons. For instance, the Vimanas and celestial weapons might symbolize spiritual concepts or human virtues rather than actual physical devices. This metaphorical interpretation aligns with the primary purpose of these texts, which is to teach ethical and philosophical values. On the other hand, some researchers argue that these descriptions could be based on real, albeit lost, technologies. They point to archaeological discoveries, such as the Antikythera mechanism from ancient Greece, which suggests that ancient civilizations possessed more advanced knowledge than previously thought. Similarly, Mysterious artifacts like the glass-like material found in King Tutankhamun's tomb hint at the possibility of ancient technological achievements. Despite these intriguing possibilities, concrete evidence supporting the existence of advanced ancient technology remains elusive. Most mainstream historians and scientists maintain a cautious stance, emphasizing the need for more definitive proof. Nonetheless, the debate continues fueling ongoing exploration and research into the enigmatic technological prowess of ancient civilizations. Oppenheimer's Knowledge and Beliefs J. Robert Oppenheimer had a deep interest in ancient Indian texts, particularly the Bhagavad Gita. This fascination influenced his worldview and, to some extent, his work on nuclear technology. The Bhagavad Gita's philosophical depth and its discussions on duty and destiny resonated with him, especially during the intense period of the Manhattan Project. Oppenheimer's famous quote, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds, taken from the Bhagavad Gita, reflects his profound connection to these ancient teachings. This interest in ancient texts might have shaped his perception of the nuclear bomb's power and its ethical implications. His knowledge of the Gita's themes of cosmic destruction and rebirth provided a unique perspective on the monumental task he was leading. This blend of ancient wisdom and modern science highlights the complex interplay between historical texts and contemporary technological advancements. Theories and Speculations 
Theories about ancient civilizations possessing advanced technology have long captivated both scholars and enthusiasts. Some suggest that ancient societies, such as those in India, Egypt, and Greece, had access to sophisticated tools and knowledge that rival modern scientific achievements. Texts like the Mahabharata and Ramayana, with their descriptions of powerful weapons and flying machines, fuel these speculations. Speculative connections are often drawn between ancient texts and modern discoveries. For instance, the Brahmastra in the Mahabharata is likened to a nuclear bomb, while the Pushpaka Vimana is compared to contemporary aircraft. Additionally, mysterious archaeological finds, like the Antikythera mechanism, suggest that ancient civilizations might have had advanced engineering capabilities. Mainstream science and academia remain cautious about these theories. While the parallels are intriguing, most experts emphasize the need for concrete evidence. Many interpretations of ancient texts are seen as metaphorical, conveying moral or philosophical messages rather than literal technological descriptions. Despite this skepticism, the allure of these theories persists, encouraging ongoing research and debate. These discussions challenge our understanding of history and invite us to reconsider the technological potential of ancient civilizations. What if ancient civilizations really had advanced technology? How would that change our understanding of history? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this exploration, check out our other videos on ancient mysteries and technological marvels. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated.